pockets from Cool Carl. Oh, nice. You think it's more sweaters? Not sure. He said it's a party in a box, and when we open it, we'll understand. Okay. Well, let's open it. Okay. <laughs> How did he even do that? How did he even do that? And I'm Jay. Welcome to Press Play. We're getting close to Christmas and there's gonna be so many parties. Got me thinking, Emma. We have all these tropical decorations. What if we tried to throw the biggest tropical Christmas party in the world, in the universe? Great idea! I mean, it probably wouldn't even be that hard. We've already got all this tropical stuff. Yeah, and I have an awesome wacky grandma with a million cats who decided to go tropical this year for Christmas and dragged us into it with her. <laughs> Let's party! Okay. What do we need? Uh, towels. Oh. Lots Ooh. of towels. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Tropical shirts for every guest. Okay. Coconuts. Uh, we can do without coconuts. Um, beach chairs. Definitely not. <laughs> Wait, I wish we had an example. Like, if we could go to a great Christmas party and see what it's all about. You thinking what I'm thinking? As long as it's not beach chairs or coconuts. No. Three, Three two, two, one, press play! play. Look like an amazing tropical Christmas party. <laughs> nope. Yo, you two are in a little place called Bethlehem. Oh. <laughs> Yo, what's wrong? Oh, it's cool. We were just open for something else. Yeah. Yo, maybe you two are here because you need to remember why we celebrate Christmas. That reminds me of a Bible story. In fact, it might be the Bible story of all stories. It's about when Jesus was born. <gasps> Yo, for this story, I need to do something real quick. Check this out. Yo! I know, right? <laughs> so, yo, this story comes from the book of Luke, chapter 2. In those days, Caesar Augustus was basically the boss. He was the leader of Rome, and he had so much power that he could order people to travel to far off places so that they could be counted just so he knew how many people he was in charge of. That doesn't sound like a great dude. It was not a good thing to do. But yo, especially for Mary and Joseph. Mary was pregnant, and she was really close to having a baby. Not a great time to travel. But it was the law. So they had to travel to Nazareth, where they were from. To here, yo, Bethlehem, to be counted. Did they? Make it okay? They did. Luke 2, 6 through 7 tells us what happened while they were here. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. A manger? No room? Yeah. Yo, a manger was like a feeding trough for animals. They couldn't find any other place. But this is where Jesus was born. That's a crazy story. For sure. But yo, it gets even crazier. There was a bunch of shepherds out in the area that may have looked like where we are. All of a sudden, an angel appeared to them and told them about Jesus. Yo, they were freaked out. <laughs> but they hadn't seen anything yet. Luke 2 13 and 14 says, Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with an angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth, peace to those whom his favor rests. They were celebrating what happened. Jesus was finally here. Yo, that was very good news. Emma, it was probably like Carl's party in a box times a million. The angel told them to go see the baby for themselves. So they did. Yo, the shepherds probably didn't know what all the fuss was about until after they saw Jesus. Then they went away partying themselves because they had just seen the savior of the world. See guys, it doesn't really matter where you celebrate or even how you celebrate, as long as you know that, yo, Jesus is why we celebrate. Good to see you again, Kenny. Oh, yo, always a pleasure. Stay prickly, guys. Merry Christmas. You ready, Jay? Join us for the secret press play handshake. 
Merry Christmas! What you doing, Jay? Oh, I'm packing a Christmas party box for my grandma, like the one Carl sent us. She'll love it. <laughs> we pressed play and went to Bethlehem, where we saw our old friend Kenny the Cactus. Yo, he was all lit up for Christmas, and he taught us about Luke, too. It's a crazy story, and I could only imagine how the shepherds felt as they were walking away from Jesus' manger. They knew they had just seen the Savior of the world. So no matter how you party this Christmas, remember, Jesus is the reason why we celebrate. Now it's time to... Drop, drop the, the verse! verse.